Good morning. It's Tuesday the 12th, I think it is, of July 2022, and it's about half past six in the morning. Sorry, a car was coming. Yeah, it's about half past six in the morning, and I'm on my way to the car. Um, what's it called? <laughs> my brain's not woken up yet. The allotment. Yeah, I need to water it and maybe pick some more raspberries um, before getting home to walk the dog and get ready for work. So, it's not sunny first thing this morning, but it was really warm during the night, so I didn't sleep great. What about you? It's due to be like this for a week or so, I think. So, we'll see how I get on with that. Um, it's about a 15 minute walk to the month, 15? Yeah, about that, I think. I've never really timed it. I'm sure my husband does. <laughs> So, I'm going to walk to the allotment, pick some raspberries, water the plot, and walk back home again. It's a good way to get some steps in early. Coming up to the bridge, do you think I'll see the kingfisher? Saw a heron you know, yesterday, didn't we? Let's have a look, see if there's anything here. Oh, there's the heron and some ducks. This road is really quiet at this time of the morning. Um, it does get busier sort of after eight. For the moment, it's just the odd car and tractor, which is just as well because all the hedges are full of nettles, so it's hard to pull in, you know, and brambles with big spikes on. So you don't want to be jumping in the hedge too much. I just had to pull right in because the tractor was coming, and they don't have to go some speed considering. I can't imagine that they have a short bus stopping distance. It scares me a bit. How they? drive around town really fast. I know I showed you this yesterday, but it's so gorgeous. There was one person here, but she's just left. Everything looks so amazing. quarter past seven and it's time to head back home. I think I've given it a good drenching. Um, there's a hose just nearby so I was using that and it was a bit, <laughs> I managed to drop it at one point. It was like a comedy sketch, absolutely got drenched on my t-shirt and my trousers as I was chasing the hose around. <laughs> I'm glad there's no CCTV or maybe there is. It's about 10 past 8, got my window open so you can hear the traffic, everybody's going off to work. Um, I got back and then I took Jenny out for a walk before it got hot and now I'm going to sit and have my breakfast and uh, just chill for a few minutes before getting ready for work. So I'm in the shop, it's about 20 to 10, um, I've got everything outside and I'm just going to put my wax melt on. I think it'll be quiet today because when it's really hot, it's quiet. So um, I've got a few things to show you, only a few. Oh, including this basket, it's a pretty one. And this one, I uh, thought I'd show you those quickly because I'm gonna put them outside. It just occurred to me that I've had quite a few new subscribers and you're probably completely clueless as to who I am and what I do because I'm not very good at doing the intro thing at the beginning of every video. It's not me. Um, I'm not professional. So my name is Kirsten and I run a shop selling vintage antiques and um, collectibles, some new gifts as well um, in a small town in Devon. 
and um, I came into YouTube through the reselling side of things. So I do have quite a lot of people who follow me for the reselling content, but I do tend to do a bit of lifestyle stuff as well. Um, I'm in my very late forties, <laughs> hanging on for dear life. I've got three grown up children, I've got a husband and a dog called Jenny, who may not feature in today's video because I'm at work now and I forgot to video her before work. Oops, sorry everybody. I don't have much stock to show you. Um, we went to, well I went to the afternoon one um, that I've not been to for months because it's not been very good recently. It used to be my favorite, but uh, yeah, I just don't seem to have the sort of stock that I want anymore. Um, we'd had friends over Saturday night and they left sort of late morning, so we didn't get to the morning one. So I went to the afternoon one. But yeah, so I didn't get a lot, but I will show you what I got. I got this Evesham Flandish. Um, I normally get slightly smaller ones. They send, sell for about £12, so I think I'll put 14 on this one. And then I got some board games. Mahjong, that one, and that one. I know nicer quality mahjong sets sell quite well but i don't know about this sort of run-of-the-mill stuff but i thought it was worth a try and then i got this chess and checkers set and i also got hoping they're all in here these chess pieces i've not checked but i'm hoping fingers crossed and finally oh no there was oh look at the price i didn't pay that um this is my favourite thing for a long time. Look at that. Isn't that cool. And that was the one other thing I got. So in box. I had a few browsers in. Um, so I checked. I was checking my genre sets and chess sets to see if they're complete. Unfortunately, the set in the box of chess pieces, these ones, there's one where they've obviously lost the white one like this and they've made this one and this not only is it very blurry <laughs> it's a totally different this is this is heavy resin so that's a shame I have just checked one mahjong set and it is complete so that is good um yeah what else am I doing oh there was a post on the local Facebook group saying that they'd come into town yesterday at quarter to five and only three shops were open. And it's disappointing when local shops want people to shop local and nowhere's open. And I don't shop open on a Monday at all. And the reason for that is I work five days a week in the shop and then at least one day a week, I'm out sourcing as well in my spare, spare time, answering, I still answer emails and comments. I still work when I'm not in the shop. And there's only me so um i need some time off i'm not gonna burn out working all the hours um because what's the point of that You've got to live your life a little bit as well haven't you it's very difficult getting the balance right isn't it because people are working longer and longer hours they also have an expectation of having everything instantly um and so shops big shops you know like supermarkets and out of town retail parks and all that they're open long hours and they've got free parking and it's very hard to compete as a small independent unless you're willing to give up your life to work all the hours and um yeah so i i understand the frustrations because people are working longer and longer hours and don't have the free time that they had but on the flip side of that as independent retailers we can't work all the all the hours it's just impossible it's 12 o'clock and um i'm gonna sit and have my lunch i've managed to pack up my husband's fishing chair that was a job because <laughs> we'd got rid of the box so i had to sort of create one out of two boxes so that was good fun but that's done and i've got a few bits and bobs done but i'm gonna sit and have this and then i think i might tackle my paperwork Ugh. it's about half past two and um, I've had pizza.
people in the whole time. I had one couple in for ages. We did buy one thing, so I also had my son in. He popped in and had his lunch while we had a chat. And my daughter came back from driving lesson, was in for a chat for a while. Um, so I've not had the opportunity to vlog. It's about half past three and um, I did it. I did my paperwork, hooray, and I paid my tax bill. <laughs> Anywho, it's done, it's done and dusted, and I've got to be pleased with that. So it's been quite a productive day. Always very pleased when I get my paperwork done. Um, I've had a steady trickle of people all day, small sales, but they add up nicely, don't they? Uh, so it's been a good day, much better than I thought it would be. I thought the hot weather would put people off, but I don't think it's quite as hot as yesterday. There's a sort of cloud cover. Right, I'm going to have to sign off because I need to do stuff and I need to edit this vlog and put it up. So thank you very much for watching. If you're new here, please do intro introduce yourself. I like to know who's watching. Um, if you're not new here, you can always reintroduce yourself. Or if you haven't done so in the past, now's your opportunity. Uh, oh, my daughter sent a little Jenny video, so I'll pop that in. So make sure you give her a thumbs up and uh, take care, stay safe, and I will see you soon.